Good morning, guys. We were talking before about superheat, but today I want to talk about target superheat. Now, superheat is the superheat measured in our system at one time in particular, but our target superheat is what the system should be at according to our calculations. Now, the calculation I use, there's two different ways to do this. You can do it, well, you can do it on your gauges. Nowadays, our digital gauges will compute target superheat for us. The Imperial does it. I know the field piece does it. I'm not sure what else does unless you have extra instrumentation going along with it. But what I typically do, if I'm in the field and I need to calculate target superheat, I will do it with a equation I learned a long time ago from another technician, which is 3 multiplied by the wet bulb measured at the return minus 80, which is a constant that does not change, minus the outdoor temperature. So basically let's let's do a mock-up of a target superheat, calculate it real quick, and you'll see what I mean. Alright guys, let's say we have an outdoor dry bulb of 90, an indoor wet bulb of 60. And of course we can't use just a regular thermometer to measure this wet bulb. We need to account for our relative humidity. That's going to be very important because part of the way that we're calculating this is we're taking into account the enthalpy in the air and that's where our wet bulb comes from. So let's put our equation to work. We have 60 which is our indoor wet bulb. So we have wet bulb times 3 it's multiplied by 3 minus 80 which is a constant that will never change minus our outdoor temperature, which is 90, which is outdoor dry bulb. That will equal our target superheat after we divide this whole thing by 2. So that's our target superheat. So let's figure out what it is. 60 multiplied by 3, we have 180 minus 80 and 90, so minus 170. So we got that, which is going to equal 10 over R2 equals a target superheat of 5. Alright guys, let's compare when we have a much higher indoor wet bulb and a much lower outdoor dry bulb. That should give us a much higher target superheat. So let's go, let's see. We have our 70 indoor wet bulb multiplied by 3 minus our constant which is 80 minus our outdoor dry bulb, which is 75, over 2. So let's get our first line finished. We have 210 minus 155. And that will equal, let's see, 210, 155, 55 over our 2 equals, let's see here, 27.5. So you can see how much higher our target superheat is when our conditions change. We have a little bit more humid environment inside, a little bit cooler environment outside. Our target superheat will go much higher, 27.5 as compared with 5. We have a very warm temperature outside, a very cool temperature inside. We'll have a low target superheat. Interesting. So that's how we get our target superheat. Next time we'll talk about what affects superheat, what conditions inside the house affect superheat, because even if we're getting our target, we still might have an issue as far as airflow that'll affect what our superheat reading is. So we need to figure out how can we identify issues that are going to cause problems with our calculations so we can correct them before we charge.